Hey everybody, I wanted to show you a couple adventures I had with the Java Gale 90 at a couple local ponds. Uh, I didn't really know what to expect when I bought this lure, but I'm a huge fan of it right now. I'm catching a bunch of fish with it and they're really striking aggressively. Uh, so I think that this could become a major player. I'm still working on the rigging for it. I tried it a couple different ways. The uh, first way I had it was a line through using a pen tube that was all dried out. Uh, the other way was the traditional way that they say on the package to rig it uh, sideways, Texas style. And about halfway through the video you'll see that I noticed there's a metal uh, spring in the nose of the bait and that helps you to keep it from tearing up. Also in the top of the bait there's a piece of foam and uh, that actually flew out of the bait at one point and caused it to act more erratically. Uh, on the pause, it would uh, go sideways on me. And I think that triggered bites too. Uh, so you may want to experiment a little bit with uh, taking that piece of foam in and out, uh, depending upon what you're fishing and the conditions. Uh, but have a look at what I did and uh, the fish that I was catching with it. Hope you enjoy. Inakatsu Java Gill 90. I would say this is early April. Uh, water temperature is in the low 50s. Uh, air temperature today is about 75. Uh, it's comfortable. Not wearing a jacket for the first time uh, fishing this year. I'm that time. On the Java Gill. Oop. Java Gill 90. How about it? Not big, but not bad. I'm using this thing with the more traditional hook method. It's a two aught extra wide gap, and it goes through the bait sideways. And when you pause it, it turns sideways in the water. Pretty cool. It's a different action. The fish don't see a lot. Ooh, missed it, missed it. Another one over there. Another one. <laughs> Got him. That's a better one. And he broke it. He broke the Java Gill. Oh no. Our fishing day is in trouble. Maybe I can
can rig it through the other side. Try to catch a couple more fish out of this thing before it, it ends its life. Oh, there's a metal uh, something or other in the nose of the bait. That's interesting. I did not notice that before. Very impressed with this lure so far. Uh, you can get them at Carolina Fishing Tackle. Fantastic company, fantastic bait from Inukatsu. Carolina Fishing Tackle just restocked a bunch of colors in the 90 size. So by the time you see this video, hopefully they're not sold out. I'm definitely going to have to buy more of these. Another little guy. Another little guy. You're too small to be eating bluegill like that. He's sitting right where he's supposed to be, right on the weed edge. got off. Crushed it. Crushed it. Crushed it. And a backlash. Oh no, not a lot of bad lunch break so far. Let's throw this back behind this weed mat. See if you can raise any fish behind it. They're definitely coming up for it out of the grass. Not that high. Oop. That's the end of it. That's fun while it lasted. Wave goodbye to five dollars. I'm definitely going to have to buy more of these. On the Java Gill. All right. that bait go? Whoa, that's one, huh? Like Little bit. <laughs> I don't know if you want a bigger one, you've gotten out of here. 
Uh, I've gotten them up to five pounds. Okay. Wow. Right. Right? I know, right? I'm tossing around the uh, Imakasu Java Gill 90. Got this from uh, Carolina Fishing Tackle. Colored it up a little bit, make it look more like a uh, male bluegill. Toss it out. Oh my god, she devoured that java gill. Oh. Look at that. That was pretty hard pumping. If you want to get your own java gill 90 or the 110, the bigger size, go to Carolina Fishing Tackle. Uh, they may have a couple left after I, you know, go and raid them myself. So, hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, make sure you crack them, whack them, and put some stank on it.